Okay, so here we have the body now, ready for disposal. So exactly what to do. We've already got the van loaded up here with the first load. And now, we have a body to dispose of. Here's all the tools you're going to need. The most important tool is this guy right here. A little angle grinder. You can, uh... I've got, a I've got a more expensive one, I've got a cheap one. This is actually a cheap one. It doesn't seem to make any difference. They all seem to work about the same. This is what this particular model right here is some Harbor Freight. It's like uh, 10 bucks or so. And um, you definitely want to get some cutoff wheels to go with it. Get this here from Metal. And you can get like a 10 pack of this for like, uh, I think it's like six bucks. I mean, it, the price varies a bit, but it's around, about six, seven or eight dollars, I think it is, for a 10 pack. So that goes a long way. And then for the places where this does not reach, because it's only it only goes so deep, uh, a nice rip saw, preferably one that does not oscillate, and some metal cutting blades, and it allows you to get into those places where you just can't. It's the deeper cuts that this thing just doesn't quite reach. That's the only time the only time you're going to use that. Ninety, pretty much ninety five percent of the cutting is this guy right here. And definitely, um, this is extremely dangerous, and you have to be very take it very easy, take it very slow, and you know understand how this thing works because it can get away from you. It's it's a pretty dangerous uh, cutting device. So definitely, definitely have yourself a nice welding helmet because there's lots of sparks that get kicked up all over the place. And then also some eye protection and some ear protection when you're using this guy. And then of course some nice thick pair of gloves. Definitely. Definitely need that, and then um, the pry bars are helpful when you when you get a cut and you want to open it up a little bit more. Once you get them open enough, you can kind of just bend them, and then so you don't have to necessarily cut all the way through. You just need to cut it open enough that you can bend it, and then you can just kind of bend it back and forth to finish the the cut. And of course, there's definitely situations where this tool is is helpful for a little bit of gentle persuasion. Here, it's always nice to have one of these guys right here. I find that to be very useful too. And that's basically all the tools you need, so let's go ahead and uh, cut away.
I use six discs to get the job done. This is kind of what they look like when they're when they're worn out. And they still have a little bit of a purpose. I find that if, if you want to sand something like in an edge or something, someplace where sandpaper doesn't reach, you can kind of get in there and, and still use the sharp edge of that to uh, sand certain things. So they still have a little bit of a use. But uh, we use six of those, and then I used one blade, one metal, one metal cutting uh, blade. This is not the blade, but it's an example. And so that was about four bucks for six of those, and then about a buck twenty-five or so for a blade. If you get an eight pack for like ten dollars, and then it was four trips to the recycling center in my K-Van. So it was about three miles away. It's so about six miles round trip times four. It's so about 24 miles at about 50 miles per gallon. So about a half a gallon of gas at $4 a gallon. So probably about two bucks. So probably about seven bucks total in consumables. Now, as far as time, that was another thing. That was, that was about a 13 hour day to cut it all up and everything. And, um, it was about two hours the following morning to actually deliver this stuff in the van. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.